Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Guys, the holiday seasons are uh, is coming around and um for the first time I am thinking whether it's worthwhile putting out videos during the holidays. Do people actually get time to watch the video or they would be busy driving home or spending time with the family uh, celebrating Christmas and New Year and all those things. So probably I might be uh, putting out less videos and I will also enjoy the holidays. So first of all I'd like to wish you all happy holidays whether it is Christmas or anything that you celebrate happy holidays. That said today I want to talk about Ginkgo Bioworks because we took our eye off Ginkgo Bioworks while we were super sharp focused on CRISPR and Bluebird for uh, the sickle cell disease therapies and the FDA approval with the PDUFA date as they say. Now that those incidences are over now I was looking at uh, Ginkgo Bioworks and uh, they have accomplished quite a bit and their uh, share price is also moving a uh, little up it's gaining a little bit of strength uh, i own around 2500 uh, of those shares at uh, $2.40 uh, and i am at a loss right now but i don't mind it's a small stake we'll see what happens ginkgo like uh, looks like a very interesting concept and uh, it could be like the microsoft of uh, gene therapy we never know uh, but right now it's having a hard time but i have today got uh, two really good news to uh, report the first one is going to be that the gates foundation has granted to ginkgo bio uh, funds to develop a protein based uh, therapy for hiv and malaria and the idea that uh, gates foundation has is that the approach that will be taken by ginkgo uh, will be through um, protein based therapy developing uh, mammalian cells and that would be cost effective and um, suitable for low cost countries uh, to tackle these two diseases i'll talk in detail about that the other news i want to talk in today's video is uh, synplogen which is a company uh, that's based in japan and uh, ginkgo bioworks announced plans to accelerate global dna manufacturing and gene therapy platform services in japan so i'll give you information about that deal and at the end of that we'll also look at the price chart for ginkgo bioworks and uh, we'll wind up the video with that said let's get started Welcome back friends. First I'm excited to discuss the grant from Gates Foundation to Ginkgo Bioworks for development of live cell therapies uh, therapeutics for HIV and malaria. This is based on the concept of protein based drugs and takes the help of the latest cell biology tools. First let me explain you a bit about protein based drugs and you'll be surprised that you have been seeing some of them already. A few of them are very famous. Uh, protein based drugs are a class of pharmaceuticals that are composed of proteins or peptides these drugs are designed to target specific proteins within the body uh, to treat various medical conditions unlike traditional small molecule drugs protein based drugs are often larger and more complex molecules there are several types of protein based drugs including monoclonal antibodies you have heard of this and these are laboratory produced molecules that mimic the immune system's ability to fight off harmful pathogens such as viruses monoclonal antibodies can be designed uh, to target uh, specific proteins uh, involved in diseases like cancer and autoimmune diseases we saw a lot of covid-19 vaccines that were made out of monoclonal antibodies and then we have enzymes which is the another class of um, protein based drugs and enzymes are uh, proteins that act as catalysts in biochemical reactions enzyme replacement therapy involves administering enzymes to individuals with deficiency in specific enzymes such as those with uh, genetic disorders and then we have another class which is called peptide hormones proteins or peptides that act as signaling molecules in the body examples of this include insulin which is used uh, to treat diabetes and various growth hormones and uh, one other uh, uh, type of um, uh, protein based uh, medicine is uh, fusion proteins these are engineered proteins that combine the functional elements of two or more uh, different proteins fusion proteins can be designed to target specific cells or pathways in the body protein based drugs have become increasingly important in the field of medicine due to their specificity and ability to target specific molecules involved in disease process however 
there are challenges associated with the with that development such as issues related to stability manufacturing and potential immunogenicity the likelihood of causing an immune response is the major concern and examples of protein based drugs will surprise you the first one is humira a monoclonal antibody used to treat autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis the other one is uh, herceptin a monoclonal antibody used in treatment of breast cancer then of course the good old insulin a peptide hormone used in the management of diabetes and we have enbrel a fusion protein used to treat autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and these drugs have played a significant role in advancing the field of medicine and providing effective treatments for a variety of conditions now coming to the deal financial information as always is not available but high level technical description of the goal has been provided let me take you to the press release and read from there because i personally do not understand it as much it looks a bit exotic to me uh, but overall it seems logical uh, what they are attempting to do so let's go there here we are in the press release it says ginkgo receives grant to develop innovative live cell delivery platform of antibody therapeutics for treating hiv and malaria we are thrilled to receive a grant from the bill and melinda gates foundation under this grant we will work to develop a live cell therapeutic that can produce antibodies to fight human immunodeficiency virus and or malaria directly in the body and uh, they are saying we will focus on creating a prototype engineered cell line that can express antibodies for the treatment of hiv and or malaria via an implantable device so this is going to be an implantable device and it will continue pumping in the required antibodies uh, into the patient and ginkgo with support from the foundation plans to use its expertise in mammalian cell engineering to engineer highly synthetic cell lines that have both high productivity and extended longevity so so basically this is going to come up with some kind of uh, uh, implantable device uh, which is going to be uh, immunologically invisible so that it doesn't get killed by the body's immune uh, defense system and at the same time it's going to be uh, stable for a longer period of time maybe 6 months and um, it will uh, provide a necessary dose of antibodies on a regular basis uh, to the patient to keep hiv or malaria at bay so that's what i understand from this one and now i want to take you to the uh, next um, uh, item which is um, uh, synplogen and ginkgo bioworks announce plans to accelerate global dna manufacturing and gene therapy platform services in japan so synplogen is a, a synthetic biology startup spun out of kobe university's graduate school of science technology and innovation that provides custom dna synthesis and gene therapy biofoundry services and it has entered into a non binding memorandum of understanding with ginkgo bioworks with the intent to advance global dna manufacturing and gene therapy platform services within the japanese market uh, simplogen intends to uh, support and introduce ginkgo's gene therapy services within the japanese biotechnology and pharmaceutical ecosystem so Uh, we don't know how much this deal is going to pay ginkgo bioworks or whether ginkgo bioworks is going to share revenue we don't have any idea of the models but here it says ginkgo and simplogen will work uh, to extend the reach of ginkgo's gene uh, therapy services in japan simplogen plans to collaborate by offering business development and marketing support to connect ginkgo's services with japanese biotechnology and pharmaceutical companies ginkgo is prepared to utilize its end to end aav that is adeno associated virus gene therapy development platform coupled with unique expertise in high throughput design and synthesis optimization to catalyze advancements in the japanese bio economy so basically uh, the way i look at this it seems like simplogen has become a marketing and technical partner uh, for the territory of japan for ginkgo bioworks so it's likely to be revenue sharing or ginkgo might be paying a commission to simplogen for any business that comes from there however we don't have that information out here uh, so we don't have the financial information about that so i think uh, we'll have to wait for uh, ginkgo to give us that information in one of their earnings releases or 
uh, some SEC filing or something like that. Friends, uh, that's what Ginkgo Bioworks has been up to. There was another press release uh, about a tie-up with a Brazilian company, but uh, they had already done that, I think, six months ago. So I think somebody has uh, recirculated the old press release, so I have not mentioned that here. I believe I have made a video about that collaboration much earlier. So this is what we have here now. Uh, I would like to take you to the price chart so that we can have a look at how uh, Ginkgo Bioworks is performing and try to see if we can find any uh, technical patterns or price targets. Here we are in the TradingView platform looking at the price chart for Ginkgo Bioworks. And you, as you can see, Ginkgo has emerged out of a long-term bear channel. I had not put the upper bound for it, so I'm going to just incorporate that here for your benefit so that you can look at it and understand how we have come out of this. So I'll extend it all the way here. So this was the bear channel in which we were traveling. And then we migrated to a superior bear channel. And off late, we have come out of the superior bear channel as well. And we have crossed a couple of uh, resistances and converted them into uh, supports. And one of them happens to be at 1.51. Um, so the probability of um, Ginkgo becoming a, a dollar uh, dollar and sub-dollar share uh, is uh, a little bit receding, but the danger still remains because we are separated only by around 58 or 59 cents. Momentum is looking pretty good. MACD is also bullish, but I would have wished that the momentum was uh, at least flat or pointed upwards. Right now, it seems like momentum is decreasing. Uh, so I think I'm going to look at Ginkgo as a long-term play. When uh, the Gates Foundation gets involved and so many other governments have got involved with uh, DNA, so I think there is a lot of um, positives in the business. It's not a snake oil or something the way I used to suspect before, but I really wish that they would be more transparent with all these dealings, what kind of dealings they have, so that uh, we can have a better idea uh, to evaluate uh, Ginkgo Bioworks. I'm holding on to my stake for the time being. I'm not doing anything new. My stake is uh, at a loss, so I can't do any kind of cover calls or anything at this point of time because I won't get enough premium for that. So I'm going to hold on and let us see what happens uh, in the near future after the quadruple witching is over and after uh, uh, after the uh, f first week of uh, January, uh, we'll see what happens with Ginkgo Bioworks because we'll then start looking forward to more uh, information about all these deals. Something or the other will come out. But in the meantime, I think uh, the markets are rotating. Uh, I'm glad that I sold the Magnificent 7 when I did. Uh, there is still a lot of juice left in them, it seems. Uh, but I'll take a call, as I said, on uh, Monday evening or Tuesday morning. Uh, so let's hope for the best. With that, my friends, I'd like to bring this video to an end. Thanks and have a great day. Bye for now.